In relation to the creating of still images, I'd like to show you an interesting possibility that's available to us from within EDIUS. And that is the possibility to configure your own user interface. We have just seen that the function for creating a still image is up here in the menu clip, create a still image. And we can see to the left of it, there is an icon, this camera symbol. And when there is an icon, it means that this function can be specified to be a button in our user interface. For the minute, we don't have this button in my EDIUS timeline. And so I'd like to show you how we can insert it into the interface. To do this, I go back into settings, but this time I go into the user settings. And there in the user interface section, I can see button. And here I can also decide which section of EDIUS we're dealing with. In my case, we're dealing with the timeline and the buttons relevant to the timeline. Here in the right hand list, I can see all the buttons that are actually active in my timeline. And on the left side, I can see all the buttons that can be added to my timeline. I can see relatively high up in the list, we have the function create a still image. So I don't really need to look for it any further. However, we do have the possibility to apply a filter. I could, for example, here decide on the category that we want to look in. Or I can type in a word in this filter field. For example, image. Then the only buttons shown are the buttons that have image attached as an attribute in some form. So here we have the create a still image button. If I wish to add this button to my interface, then I simply select it. And then I use this right pointing double arrow to position the function in the right hand list. I'll click on apply and okay. And now we can see right at the start of the interface for the timeline, we can see this camera icon. If I don't want to have it right at the beginning, then of course I can change it, going back into settings, once again, user settings, and then user interface button. And now I change its position. I can do this with drag and drop via the mouse, or I use these buttons to move the symbol up and down. For example, here before the palette icon, or one further up before the vector scope. And if I want to have my button here, then once again, choose apply and okay. And then the button is moved to our desired position.